But let me just describe to you what Peter Higgs and his co-discoverers of the Higgs mechanism actually think that this is all about. You've been to the BBC about. canteen. So I've been to the BBC canteen. <laughs> now, I want you to imagine that it's okay. the Big Bang. It's just yeah. happened. And way back then, okay. we didn't have a Higgs mechanism, OK? Yeah. And all the particles in the universe were whizzing around at the light, uh, at light speed, yeah. OK? So they were going around through the universe at light speed. Now, unless some of these particles have mass, they can't clump together, they can't become stars, they can't become galaxies, they can't become you and me. Right. Everything in the universe that we know would not happen unless they have mass. Mm -hmm. Now, I need you to help me with the Higgs mechanism. Okay, here it is. A few fractions of a second after the Higgs mechanism, after the, the Big you Bang, open this? we get the Higgs mechanism. Is this going to go down well this, with the people in charge of this, this studio? I hope so. Permeating <laughs> the whole of okay. space. Can I add this in? I think we've probably got enough. Got I don't enough? know. Right? On, a little I'll bit give more. you a bit more. There you go. OK. OK. So now we have the Higgs mechanism permeate, permeating the whole of space. Yeah. And what that does is that interacts with our particles. Now, some particles, as they move through the Higgs mechanism, get very bogged down, and they become very, very massive. And that's something like a, a top quark. Mm -hmm. Now, but others, they don't interact quite so much, and so they're not so massive. And there's one sort of particle, this one's called a photon, has yeah. no mass whatsoever, and that continues to fly off at right. light speed. OK? But that essentially is what the Higgs mechanism is, but they can't look for this directly. They look yeah. for the boson at the okay. Large Hadron Collider. And that is one of the particles in the Higgs field itself, associated with the field. So that's what they think they've done today. And that helps them explain just why everything has substance, why it has mass, and why some particles uh, are bigger than others.